Hey everybody and welcome to this tutorial on how to turn some shiny silver fabric into some medieval chain mail. Your kit has four pieces, two short rectangles, a long skinny rectangle, and a fat rectangle. And we're going to start with that fat rectangle. Lay that out, smooth your fabric down, and then fold it over hamburger style. Make sure all your edges are lined up nice and neat and that the fabric is smooth. Then you're going to grab the paper pattern piece out of your kit, lay that down on top of your folded fabric, making sure none of your edges are touching any of the edges of the fabric. Use whatever you're going to use to mark this up. I'm using Taylor's chalk, but you can use a pencil or a marker and outline all of the edges of your paper pattern piece. Once you've done that, grab your fabric shears and cut out all of the edges, uh, cutting through both pieces of fabric at once. And that is going to leave you with the hood pieces that we are going to use. Then you're going to take your seam gauge, set a half an inch seam allowance, and you are going to mark a half inch seam allowance all along the big back curve of your hood. This is the back of your head that we are marking with a half inch seam allowance. Once you have done that, grab yourself a needle and some silver or white thread. And I am going to use my sewing machine because I have one and also because I'm doing tutorials for all of your projects this weekend. You're going to use a running stitch along that seam allowance that we just marked. And you're going to close up that hem, that seam there. And that is going to form the back of your hood. You can check to see if you have done this correctly by opening it up and putting it on your head. And if you've got something that kind of looks like a little mohawk situation going on, then you've done this right. Set the hood off to the side and we are going to now work on the shoulder or the yoke of this chain mail piece. Oh, here I'm just showing you that there's a pretty side and an ugly side to this fabric now. Um, so set the hood aside. We're going to work on the yoke. So you've got that really long skinny rectangle. Start by laying that out nice and neatly. Try to get your edges lined up as straight as possible. Uh, and then you're going to take your short rectangles, lining up the short edges of the short rectangles with the short edges of the long rectangle. Take a safety pin and pick a corner and hold that corner into place with a safety pin. Then on the same side as that corner, you're going to smooth out the edges of your short and long rectangles and pin the opposite top corner to the center of your rectangle. So smooth those out nice and even wherever it lands is going to be the center and hold, uh, use that, use a safety pin to hold that into place. Then you're going to need a ruler that is at least 20 inches long. You are going to measure from the outer corner in 20 inches. Use another safety pin to hold that in place and then mark a seam allowance, half an inch, between those two safety pins. You're marking a 20 inch seam that is half an inch of seam allowance. Okay. You're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. We're going to use a safety pin to attach the top corners of your sleeve piece, of your yoke piece. Smooth out your edges. Use a safety pin to attach your centers. And then mark 20 inches in from the outer corner using a third safety pin. Remember to mark half an inch seam allowance, 20 inches long between those two safety pins. Once you have done that, you can use a running stitch to sew down that 20 inch seam on both sides. Remove all of your safety pins and when you have done that you should find that you have an open flap in the center of your yoke. This is where your neck is going to go uh, but that you have that seam completely closed otherwise except for that flap. So open up your project, turn it ugly side down yeah ugly side down ugly side down and then splay it open to create a square with those two flaps so pretty side up ugly side down splayed open to see that square at the neck then find your hood and turn it inside out we're going to take the pretty side of your hood and we're going to lay that down 
on the pretty side of your yoke of your shoulder pieces then we're going to take the neck corner of the hood and we are going to connect it to the front corner of that yoke this is the part that is just so incredibly difficult to both explain properly and to show on camera. So it is at this point, once you have gotten to this point of your project, you can come to me and say, Miss Street, please show me how to attach my hood to my yoke on my chainmail project, and I will show you how to do that in person, no grumps allowed. You will then mark a half inch seam allowance along the neck of your chainmail piece, just like I am doing here, marking a half inch seam allowance all along the neck that we just created. And we're gonna use a running stitch to attach the hood to the yoke permanently. If you wanna do a little fit check at this point, you can, but what you need to know is that the pretty sides should be on the same side. If you put that sucker on, then all of the raw hems should be, or excuse me, all of the raw edges should be touching your skin, but all of the pretty edges should be showing on the outside. Now, we've created one giant face piece and we're going to hem that. So turn your project, lay it down, and turn it ugly side up. Up. and then we are going to measure and mark a half inch seam allowance all along that long face piece that we just created use an iron set to the appropriate heat setting to fold and press that down and then we're going to use a running stitch to hold that in place be careful and take your time going around the the top the forehead part of your hood it's a little tricky to do that curve just take your time and be patient and then we're going to running stitch that into place and then i think we're going to do another fit check just to make sure that all of my uglies are on the same side all of my pretties are on the same side when i put this on i should not see the raw edges around on my face once that is true the only thing left to do is to hem all of the rest of the raw edges they're just straight hems there's just a lot of them and it's going to take some time to get this done take your time and make sure that you are folding down onto the ugly side mark and fold on the ugly side here i'm showing you just the time difference in how long it takes me to do the the longest hem in real time so this particular clip um, that's me running this project through my machine in real time just for the sake of comparison i think it takes me just at a minute but you can double check that if you really really want to um, to run the entire long edge through the sewing machine so when we get to sewing machines and i tell you how much more convenient they are once you learn how to use them this is proof that, that they are in fact much more convenient because that would have probably taken me several days of class time to do that by hand here i'm just finishing up the extra raw hems once you have all of your raw edges hemmed down all of your ugly sides are on the same side we are going to open up our project pretty side up uh, i am putting the the longest piece at the top just so that i can sort of see what i'm doing make sure the pretty side is the side that you are looking at and then uh, i realized that what i was trying to show you was off camera so i scooted it down you are going to connect your outer corners pretty side up you're going to fold the project over onto itself that's going to expose the ugly side and then you are going to take a pin and pin those two outer corners together what we are doing is creating a sleeve we're creating a hole for your arm to go through i'm only going to sew together that last half inch of material we're only doing that just to keep the sleeve from falling off the arm while the actor is wearing it but because these are not sized for individual bodies i can't do a whole lot more than that without running the risk of something not fitting once you have done this properly put your project on Test it to make sure that your arm can go through an arm hole at the end of the sleeve, that you've got a neck opening or a chest opening in the front. 
Here I am showing you that all of my pretty sides are visible and all of my raw sides are together and that there are two armholes on either side for my arms to go through. I'm making some final adjustments just to make sure everything looks the way it is supposed to. Pretty sides visible, raw sides against my body. Here it is from a wider angle. This is just the yoke and the hood, but once we get the whole costume put together, this is what it's gonna look like. So our guards are gonna have their chain mail and their tabards on and look pretty, pretty good for handmade you know, high school projects. Y'all are gonna do great with this.